Bethel life. That's a great night. That's when Bill and Chris, they talk about how amazing Bethel is, our unique call and purpose and stuff. It's a lot of fun. I've heard him do it a lot of times, though, so I think the best part's the cookies. Man, those are good. That Eyes and Wings conference, that was powerful. It was life-changing. Wow. You know, if they sell CDs and DVDs of that, I bet you they're going to sell like hotcakes. I'd definitely pick up a set. Wait, I think I get them free because I'm a pastor. I love this coffee shop. You know what we should do? We should have a young adults revival gathering. Anybody that's 18 to 25-ish, just have them come down to Breaking New Grounds every Wednesday night from 9 to 11 p.m. That's going to be off the meat rack. It's off the meat rack, fool! You know, some people should just not have a mustache. It's not working. I wonder if I should tell them. I tell you, if Dan could grow a beard... He'd look so much better. He'd have to connect, though, more of like a Don Johnson type look. Yeah. Summer mission trip's gonna be amazing. I remember mission trips I was on to Mexico. They were totally life-changing. I think people are heading all around the world. I hope folks know they can get applications in the South Lobby and, you know, They need to be in pretty soon, though, so Eric can start putting together the teams. But those mission trips are amazing. Wow. Eric. Paul Manwaring and Joaquin, they're going to be doing a healing room training. Coming up February 19th for anybody that wants to be part of the healing room team. Paul and Joaquin, (laughs) they'll be great. Baptism's so amazing. I love being able to be part of the baptisms. And the next baptism is coming up on February 26th. You just come at 5 o'clock with a change of clothes and a towel. I mean, we, I hope people come and get baptized in that Sunday evening service. Can you believe how awesome it would be to drive by those transitional apartments and know that I helped furnish them or I helped get the refrigerator, the bedding or the plates for the, some family to move out of homelessness and, and to you know, get established. That'd be awesome. You drive by, yeah, I helped. Hey, Fred Haley's class about how to get to the Holy Land. That's amazing. It's Wednesday nights at 7. I think it's got about three weeks to go or so. But for people that want to go and walk the streets where Jesus walked and see all those sites and see where... You know, Moses did his Moses-y stuff, you know. They, they should go to that class because they'll learn how to get to the Holy Land, how they can, you know, afford a trip there. It'd be, it'd be great. I really wish my mustache connected with my beard. I, I, I could wear a Fu Manchu or a goat. No, nothing. Thank you.